Uh, first of all, as I said, the coach really uh, after the game, and we needed these two points more than he did, uh, especially uh, the way we played last night. Glad to come back. And they got there too by coming back from a three goal deficit. We didn't, we didn't do it, so it was nice for us to get that done tonight. Uh, in general, I thought, I thought we played a pretty solid game. I mean, we sat with Karen Milan, who played a great night, had a great night. I made some big saves, but really kept things cool, calm, and collected. There was a lot of bouncing pucks around in front of the net. We were doing well, we seemed to do a really good job. Uh, I think we, we got a little, the only time we really lost our poise was late in the second period. I thought, it was funny, after we scored and make it 2-1, uh, they are making out us pretty good. Uh, I guess that's 12 30, 12 43 is that when we scored, so maybe the last eight minutes of that period, I thought they really, they really dominated the period. We seemed to lose our poise and bounce in the puck around and couldn't complete the pass. Uh, we get that back in, in control of the third period and did a pretty good job. We uh, thought all our defense would play well and a tough building to play well in. We've had success in this building when it was the bigger rink. Uh, it was nice to get a, wing, a win here after they uh, after they changed the, the configuration a little bit. So, so I think we'll I think, still think we're the uh, best team in Hockey East against UNH and when it was uh, that's nice to have that going for us. More than anything else, we needed two points and we got them. We needed two points against a real solid team, a team that's a national championship contender and a and a Hockey East championship contender, a home ice advantage team for sure. So it was nice to get on the road against that type of team. Coach, you obviously got off to a better start tonight. Uh, can you just talk about first period and being able to come out of it not being behind 3 nothing? That's what I said. I said, hey, we didn't score, but we're not losing 3 nothing tonight. That's a, that's a good start for us. Uh, I thought that was our best period as far as overall control of the game. Uh, I thought we were, we were pretty sharp. We outshot in that period. We had some good opportunities. and. Uh, in general, not giving up a bunch in the first was nice for us. Not giving up more than one to go down. We go down one nothing, and then we come back and get two. So all that bodes well, hopefully. Coach, uh, what was Kieran's biggest strength tonight? You said he was calm, cool, and collected, but well, he was just on the, on the puck all the time. He was really out of, out of the net. You know, they, were, they had some really good opportunities on initial rushing, but he was way out. Didn't give much to shoot at. And then when they were buzzing us a little bit from behind the goal line and just throwing it up front, uh, in which they got a goal against him last time. Last time we were up here like that, uh, and a couple of times the way the puck comes off so quickly the backboards here, I thought he was really on top of his game, figuring out where the puck was and freezing it far, so getting up in the corner. And it seems like since that disappointing loss against Brown over in Chicago, it seems like he's played a little bit better in each game. Is that really? You've seen a turnaround. Well, he's played a lot, you know. The next very next night, he played great against Notre Dame. So, uh, well, he's he played great last night. He played great tonight. He's when he's on, and he's on most of the time. He's been here. He's, he's a trooper goalie. Coach, you're able to get a lot of shots on the power play. Good puck <coughs> movement. Obviously, the one goal. Just talk about that. Well, this is a this ice surface is a little easier to get con keep control of the puck. You can't really run as hard and pressure as much. So, I thought we did a good job getting shots on. Uh, Opportunities on our control of the puck. Uh, I think we could have shot him, especially early on in our first two power plays. I thought we could have shot him much more. Jack, obviously both coaches wanted to make sure you get the right call, but how do you approach all the, or what's your reaction to the, the number of video replay <coughs> situations? Uh, I think, as far as I'm concerned, they can replay every single goal if they want. I want to make sure that, you know, there's not many goals scored in a hockey game. You want to make sure they're legal. You want to make sure they're correct. So if there's time to be taken, there's time to be taken. They, they have difficulty with the uh, UNH has a problem with their video replay here. The referee said that they, they weren't real happy with the re video replay. We'll have to talk to the league about that. But, uh, in general, no matter what rank you're in, uh, I've got the one that they call no go on on us. The one that they call, I guess they allowed to go on us. Uh, was there three? Times they went to, yeah. Uh, if any of those, if you ever got home and found out, if you and H got in the dressing room right now and find out, hey, that net was off and they didn't call it, uh, I think that's that, that'd be a sad situation. So, once again, I 
we'd like it to be a little quicker. But uh, you know, we have TV timeouts, we have a lot of other things going on. I think the most important thing, it's more important than anything else in any other sport. They have, they have a lot of stuff in football and they go to the camera two to one game, you want to make sure all the goals count. You know? So I think that you know, the, the, game, the game is so low scoring lately at, at every level, pro level here, uh, that I think you want to make sure that if you've got a goal, you want to, if it's called off and it should have been a goal, you want to make sure you've got it. Coach, you're able to neutralize that Thompson, DeSimone, Sissel line for the most part. Can you just talk about how you matched up against them? I think Karen would you neutralize that line. <laughs> they had a lot of good opportunities. I don't know how many shots they had. We, uh, we had Sahir Gill's line playing against them most of the time. And, you know, we, had, well, we had a freshman center playing against that big line, but he's a pretty good, responsible defensive guy, and we have our two co-captains on either wing, so uh, they're quick and they're reliable out there defensively. So they, they matched up pretty well. But, so I think if you look at, uh, well, Cicero didn't have a shot of the net against but uh, in general, I thought that our goals had, they had a couple of chances. Uh, Di Simone had seven shots, you know, so, uh, that's one of the best lines of college. Right? I'm looking at this. If you look at the UNH score sheet or a line shot, and you just fold over the first line, you say, hey, we can beat this club, you know? <laughs> but then when you fold the first line back up again, and they, they're each three. They're, they're going to be hundred point guys. Each one of them in UNH history. Yeah, so they're a dangerous, dangerous line, and, and especially in the power play. That five guy unit with fifteen and twenty of the points, and those three guys up front. That's a pretty good unit. Coach, how does tonight's performance by Karen compare to what you've seen from him before? I think it's Karen as usual. I think that's what we've come to expect from. And how much momentum can you gather from a road win like this, going, especially going into next weekend against Maine? I think you can't underestimate how much we needed two points tonight, whether it was home or the way because of, because of losing last night. Uh, you know, we lost a heartbreaker in which we had many, many chances to tie the game up against uh, Merrimack. Uh, and then we lose a, a game that against BC, our arch rival, uh, and a game we down 3 nothing. We come back and play pretty well. And now we're, we lose four points right there. Uh, we needed to get two points. We were playing the little sisters of the four, we needed to get two points. The fact that we played UNH and beat him up here is even nicer and give us some momentum. It makes us feel better to stay in the hunt for all, all nice here. One more question, anybody? <laughs>